OK, so now it's time for the third instalment of my regular strand called Craigslist. See? Craigslist. With the producer set to be an arbitrary challenge, and I have to find an expert to help me see if a product does exactly what it says on the tin. Hold on a second. Y you mentioned nothing about arbitrary challenges last week. No, I forgot. So, to summarise, the first one you did of these of the series, you forgot to mention actually what it was called, and then the second one, you forgot to mention what it's about. It, it would appear so, yeah. Mm. Third time lucky then, eh, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, my challenge this week is how to drift off to sleep with ease. I have actually read somewhere that uh, at least a third of us Brits struggle to get to sleep at least once a week. Ah, well, I've got something to help me. It's called the Z's Sleep Pedal. It's a small device that you fit under your pillow and it mimics frequencies which your brain naturally produces as you fall asleep. The idea is it sort of tricks your brain into making you relax enough to drift off and it's 300 quid. Oof, it's quite pricey. I mean, does it make a noise or anything? No, no, it's completely silent. So you literally spend £300 and you just turn it on and hope for the best? Well, they claim that you put it under your pillow and within three weeks you'll be sleeping like a baby. Mm -hmm. Now, to test this, I've got a sleep expert who's also suffered insomnia. Here she is. Hello, I'm Dr Narina. I'm a physiologist and a sleep expert. I've spent over 25 years helping people to get good sleep. It's a good opportunity to test the Z's and I've used it for over three weeks now. I have to admit that I was a little bit skeptical at first. It claims to emit these alpha waves, so when we're sleeping at night, we go from fully alert beta wave activity into alpha and then relaxed. Um, theta and then deep sleep which is delta and um, what the disease claims to do is to drop you more quickly into the alpha state. During the time that I used it I would have to say there were some disruptive things happening you know life happens and I was really surprised to find that I was returning to sleep quite quickly and probably more quickly than I normally would even though I've got lots of tools in my own toolkit and I use a lot of my own techniques. I would say I'm pleased with the product. I do think that it meets its claims. I'm happy with it. I would continue using it. Well, there you go. Our expert thinks it's £300 well spent. Yeah. I mean, if you suffered with getting to sleep, then you'd absolutely spend that money on it, wouldn't you?